I don't know if you can see that on the floor, but that's that's snow. It's been snowing at the house today. Not so much now I'm out on the main roads, but it's been snowing here this morning. It's minus two. So if it keeps snowing like this, maybe we might get some lay. I'll be able to go get the sleigh out as well. I was not intentionally made to rhyme. I'm just a geek. I'm sorry. Anyway guys, I'm starting my day up at the office right now. Uh, because we had a, another delivery this morning. I have another set of crates for baby me for some new stock, which we're very excited about. So I need to move them upstairs before somebody takes them. Uh, no lift, thank you very much. The lift is well scary, man. There's no one actually here on the weekend. So if the lift broke down, I might be stuck here till Monday. That's all done. Coming outside just in time to see the snow starting again. Although I've got another job to do now, and that is to take this full trailer Dum bum bum to the tip, which is full of like, Christmas wrapping and things like that. So um, I need to go get rid of that now. And then I think we might be doing something really exciting today. Sarah might have already said this, so apologies if she has. I usually like to repeat everything Sarah says anyway on these videos. But today is the day, I think, when we start the proper bedroom renovations in the house because we wanted to wait until after New Year when um, we could get rid of like a load of the packaging and stuff from Christmas and all that sort of stuff so we've got more space. And um, I think we're gonna take a trip to Ikea today to go and hopefully pick up some bits of furniture that we need to do that with. And then all three girls are getting brand new bedrooms. Brand new bedrooms and they're all moving around so it's gonna be really exciting. So I think we're gonna do that today as long as the snow doesn't stop us from doing so. So fingers crossed. another vlog it's a very very miserable wet miserable feeling day today i always feel like this at the start of january i feel like this so much in the run up not even just december my excitement starts in like september so i have like september october november and december all feeling amazing and festive and really excited and like there's something mega to look forward to and then suddenly it's January and I'm like, especially now this year when we're all in lock, we're not, we're actually in tier three, but still, um, we can't really do anything or go anywhere or stay anywhere. We haven't even been at home at this time of year for the last five years or something. And I don't know, it just feels like a boring day today. A boring day. It did feel like it might be a bit exciting this morning when we looked out the window and it was heavy snowing and it started to lay. And then it slowed off and then it rained a little bit. And so it's all gone. Jace is having a blast with his toys. And so now it just looks wet and miserable. It does keep snowing. So I don't know if it's going to continue through. I know we're due some snow. But because we're really low down in a valley, really low down. And we're really near water, big canal. It just never seems to lay very well around where we are. Literally one second. Go out of our estate and drive up the road for like one minute. And it's thick of snow. It's crazy. Anyway, comment down below if you've had snow. Because I'm pretty jealous. I'd love to take Jace and the girl sledge. And I'd love to see how Jace is with the snow. And. Just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just jealous of you all that have got snow. So today, Chris has got up, we've got up this morning, it's actually lunchtime and I've only just got dressed and ready. That's how bad I'm feeling today. Not ill or anything, but just, does anyone else feel like, does anyone else know what I mean? Just a bit like that. Chris got up and went out to take all of our rubbish to be recycled, the stuff that can be recycled and the rest of the stuff to like the tip. Um, all the boxes and things from Christmas. He took the trailer, which we actually spent a couple of hundred pounds on to go to Forest Holidays and it's, we spent that money for nothing because did, we didn't go. So we spent that money just for, it to, just for it to sit on the drive. To be fair, the guy that runs that company is such a lovely guy and he said he's been really struggling this year with the pandemic. So I actually don't feel too bad about that. He's taken that. To the tip. I'm playing with Jace right now. The girls are upstairs doing their own thing, making the most of their free time before homeschool starts again next week. Oh, clever boy! You got your blue car. I think that might be kind of green. Uh, I'm blue car. Kind of green. Can you say green car? Oh, your favourite! Oh, you can see I've kissed Jace on his cheek this morning. To move your choo choo out of the way, you kind of look stuck in there, babe. Yeah. Do you want me to move that out of your way? No, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to move this out of your way? Like that, and then you can get out. Whoa, did you fall? This is Jace's little man cave. What, darling? 
I'm definitely making the most out of the Christmas clothes because why not? <laughs> Let me get that lipstick off your face. Got lipstick on your cheek. Jace literally loves this teddy. You love him so much, don't you? Is he your favourite? Uh oh! Uh, we were actually gifted these like way before Jace was born, like two years ago. You're welcome. You're welcome. They're called Cuddle and Kind Bears. Um, you guys just should look them up for a hundred percent because these are all handmade and oh they come in so many different designs oh, there we go it's done they come in so many different designs really really beautiful mermaids and unicorns and all sorts we've got quite a few of them um cuddle and kind that's the name and one doll equals 10 meals for families in need like it's such a beautiful gift that you could give someone jace does sleep with this one every night but we couldn't find it last night and it was because he was hiding in there wasn't he Oh, you want your train out? Come on then. Good morning, Isabel. Or good afternoon. She's finally emerged from the bedroom. <laughs> what have you been doing? Reading my book. And also, it's kind of like a routine. We do a bit of TikTok, we do a bit of reading. And then I put my false nails on because I was just like... They are monstrous, Isabel. <laughs> I'm not one for big, massive, long nails, but the no. girls really like them. Yeah. And as I've got her little, like her... Ones that she can decorate. Yeah, she and has. She loves been doing them. Is that what she's doing right now? I think so. I'm not so sure. Yeah. They're decorating crafty. It's very quiet in the house this morning. Oh, no, I don't. Doesn't it feel like, like I was just saying before, like Christmas is over, and so it feels kind of like. That's why I was saying. I woke up this morning and I was like, it's 2021, but like it doesn't even feel like it. it just feels like life is like, just like. It feels really like slow mean? motion. Yeah. I don't know. Really I don't understand weird. what I'm saying, but life just feels really slow motion. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Jace, you can't put that one in there, sweetheart. Come here, look. Let go. There we go. There we go. Just these ones, okay? Just those ones. Get the blue one. Also, guys, it, it mixes it's blue and green outside. up. <laughs> a lot of people who are like, just my, my friends who, like live a lot higher up. Yeah, I know. So I was saying that. There. Um, but obviously, because we live quite low down, um, and it's raining as well. So it's rain, so now the, the snow's not. I know. Good. We could go find yeah, snow. We could, but. But you couldn't go in your skirt. No. <laughs> Although your hat and top's nice. Yes. Yeah. And I've got two. Top you do actually. Boxes. You look nice I'm today. Like you look cute. Very cute. This is just playing. You got. That. Come here. This like this look. There we go. He absolutely loves this truck. This was from Morrison's. I bought this from Morrison's. It was like twenty pound, and he absolutely doesn't he love this. Yeah. Where's your blue ones? There. That was blue. It gets blue and green mixed up. Um. Blue one. Green. This one's green. This one's blue. Say blue car. Which is the blue one? Mm. That's the wheel. That's that's <laughs> the wheel, Jace. <laughs> Jace, are you gonna clean up? <laughs> come on, come on. Do you want to play with your dinosaurs? Okay, we have to clean up first. Put all your toys away. You've got no space. Put your toys back in your big truck. Good boy. Get the blue one. Whoa. And the yellow. I don't think you realise it can. Oh no, no, it does. It does. Oh, is it moving? It's okay, leave him there. It's okay, let go. There we go. Yellow. Oh. Good boy. Whoa. Whoa. Speech has come on so much on my side. I know. It's okay. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at all those dinos. No, that's not me. <laughs> oh, it's Isabel. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nam, let's eat him. Nam, nam. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Oh, yum, 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 yum. We just found the ugliest dinosaur ever. I, even, I think that was not. No, it's not. I don't know what that is. But look at his fingers, like Slenderman. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your fingernails. <laughs> Thank you. Yum 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 yum. He's eating the trees. Another tree. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so glad he started to like dinosaurs. It's so sweet. You are such a good cleaner. <laughs> He's 
literally just cleaned up all his dinosaurs. You good boy. You cleaning them all away now. Don't forget this tree. Oh, oops. <laughs> good boy. Clever boy. Little Isla Ingham is such a superstar. She just came, she's been pottering around in the kitchen for the last few minutes and then she walks in and proudly says, Mummy, I made your lunch. <laughs> what did you make me? A crisp butty. <laughs> and yeah, I took two big fat bites out of the sides. I really like them. I thought you would like them. I did maybe a bit too much egg, but Jace can have some, so it's That's fine. okay. You eat it. I'll yeah, make Jace some in a second. Yeah, me. Isabel's making a, made herself some egg on bagel. It actually, it's so weird. I absolutely hate pepper. Like, I will not I eat it on crisp anything. I but, <laughs> <laughs> but on egg, pepper's really <gasps> nice. Jace, what do you want for lunch, darling? We're gonna go make you something. No. Jace has not stopped eating this morning. So he's probably not very hungry right now. So we wanted to wait until it was a little bit later in the evening, just so that it wasn't as busy. And also because we've got the trailer too, so we've got the trailer in the car park as well. So again, we wanted to wait till the car park was a bit less busy. Because we're planning on stocking up with some furniture tonight for the girls' bedrooms. But I'm nice and warm in my Ingham family animation hoodie right now. You can get this at the iPhone store. Shopiphone.co.uk. So they also mentioned we've just got our new OG iPhone tops in as well. Woo! If you've not seen them, you need to check them out. And we're doing 10% off all January with the code iPhone 10. So how can you beat that? Is it just me, babe, or is you really excited as well? And we haven't been to IKEA since probably before March. I don't this think is we've well been this year, have we? I don't know, I don't think so. I think we've been this year. I, feel really, I actually feel really naughty coming here. <laughs> but there's like cute it's barriers like it's wrong outside. To do it. And the guy was just saying to me when I came in, this is a good time to come because earlier on they were like queuing all over the barriers. Like Everyone's getting their January like sales six. on right now, right? So first up, we're looking for little Miss Isla and she's found a little cute desk that she really likes. It's quite simple, but it's in fact, it's the exact same one they've got now, but just singular version. We need a new desk for Isla because the big one in your bedroom right now is too big. For the smaller room that you're going to um, and the one that Isabel the one that she's going to Isabel's room and Isabel's desk is cracked it's got makeup all over it <laughs> just taking pictures of everything we're looking at buying um and it's quite big and bulky we want to make the space as big as possible for Isla so she's got space to play etc etc and Isla's nervous to be honest guys aren't you yeah she's really nervous about moving bedrooms and she doesn't want to but she's been an absolute trooper that's why I said that on a night most nights some nights she can come to my room what I thought she wants to Esme has been really nice and understanding and she's saying that Esme that Isla can still go to her bedroom on a night yeah, and watch to watch tell it together Trina <laughs> um because I was really upset earlier saying we're not gonna get to watch that anymore and I'm really sad. So anyway, the point is is that we want to make this room nice for Isla. Yeah. And she likes this little desk. And it is but I don't I'm not sure on the white chair, babe. I'm I'm not, I no, no I just, right. I'm not feeling that chair. Oh, no, 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 no. Not feeling that chair. But we're thinking this for Isla. And then the older two really like these shelves. I love them. Both like them shelves. Did you get pictures of those? So, do you like that? Yeah. I don't know if I kind of feel like it makes it look a bit messy. Yeah, I, I don't really like it, but I really like the shelves. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. It's kind of a good idea, and you've had something like that before. But it's probably a bit too big, like the like. Yeah, I think wall. it's the size is just not but quite right. I have a smaller one. Yeah. We found a better desk. It's even cheaper actually as well, and it comes with more storage. We've got some more drawers. We've got some cupboard space, and another drawer more? as well. Out more, but this would be probably even better for your bedroom, wouldn't it? Yeah. You even got a little hole to put your light wires through. I also like this one, but this chair because it's finny. That's the chair that me and Esme have. Which one? Over there. The oh, the yeah, yeah. I like the back part of that. It's a shame that the back. Side yeah, is it is a shame. This little back frame here with shelves on this all out of stock at the minute, which sucks. But you can yeah, always get this part for now and add it later, can't yeah. we? Isla also just noticed this super cute night light. Yeah, and also you can put it onto colours, so there's red and orange. So the colours you can put on its own. Yeah, if you press this. Even in the lighting section, we don't need to take a picture of that. Oh, okay. You can change it all to different colours. Really cute. That'll go perfect in your new room. Wardrobes. All three girls need a wardrobe because at the minute they're just using drawers and they have done actually since we moved into our house, which has never been a problem because they just we've just they just prefer to do it that way and it's worked for us. It's always worked for us just using drawers. But now they're getting older, they do need 
draw uh, a wardrobe and they all want a wardrobe and they've been asking me something for one so we've just found this one which is actually quite cheap it's 150 that's cheap for a wardrobe right yeah. and it looks like this i really like it um it's so in one compartment it's got space for like boxes for i guess underwear and things and then got space up there and then lots of hang space and space at the bottom as well i think that's a really good price and I think that'd be really good for all three, like just to buy three of those. Yeah, one, yeah. They're really nice. So we're now in the plastic storage box section. We've got a few bits picked up so far, including some new coats. Oh no, they belong to the girls. Um, we've broke a crazy amount of plates lately, so we've stocked up on a few more of those. We've got a whisk. We've got some tray things for the caravan, I think we said we wanted those for. Yeah. What else is down there? We've got a new spud and vegetable peeler. Spud! Spud. <laughs> And then Izzy's got six of these boxes. Yeah. I like sat down under my bed and like organising it all. Yeah, so she's got storage under her bed, but basically just a load of stuff shoved under there. She wants to organise it properly. So we've got, I think these will fit under. So we've got six of those. And then I think we're also going to get some of the plastics large storage boxes from here we've had before. And they're really good. They fit in loads. They are quite, what are they expensive? They are, aren't they? 15. No, that's not with the lid. It's not. Full set now. The lids are separate. Where does it say with the lid? Oh, it doesn't. The lids are separate. They've no, always been separate. It makes out like it is though. No, it doesn't. <laughs> The lids are always separate. Oh, whatever. They're probably 15. I think they're like 15 or 16 pound for a box. Um, but they are quite big. I think we're going to get 10 or 8. 10, that's 150 quid. Yeah, no, but we need On storage them. boxes. We need them. Yeah. I was right. The lids are 4 pound. The boxes are 12. They've gone up. I'm sure they were 15 last time. Now they're 16 pound. Look who's just welcome. <laughs> we're just collecting the last few bits. Yeah. Is that the right one, Isla? Is that the one you wanted? That chair? Yeah. We've got a crazy amount on this trolley. We actually brought the trailer, that's why we came today, because we had the trailer. We've got a basket full over there. I don't actually know if I mentioned before, but the reason we came today was because we have the trailer still. That should be going back Monday. But whilst we had the trailer, I thought it would be a good idea to come and buy all the big things that we need that won't fit in the car. So at least use the trailer for something. And I think we've pretty much made the most of it for sure. Woo! All I can say is thank goodness for this trailer because we would not be getting nothing, nothing done without it right now. That was, that was a bit of hard work. We literally have to walk down from the entrance and the whole path, like the whole path all the way to here, and if you can see, it's like black ice. That was well hairy. Got it all in, thank goodness. Quite a bit of room to spare still. But that's gonna give me some projects to do for quite some time now. Woo! Sorry about the horrendous lighting, guys, but we just got back home and we're just gonna get, well, the girls have already gone up to bed and we're just about to put Jace to bed now. Gosh, the light is really bad. Um, I don't know why we went to Ikea. Well, we, we didn't go late, it was like six or something like that. Um, and then before we knew it, it was like 8 p.m. So we basically drove back home and now we're just going to chill out for the rest of the evening. I'm really excited actually tomorrow to make a start on this bedroom switches. I think the plan for tomorrow is to do Isabel's because because of how they're moving, it needs to go in like order so that no one's left without a bedroom to sleep in. So I think tomorrow the plan is to change the playroom upstairs into Isabel's bedroom. We're gonna do all the furniture and stuff that she's picked out. Unfortunately, we couldn't get her or Resme a new desk today. The ones that they wanted were not in stock. They want like a wooden oak colored one, I think. Isabel went for an oak colored wardrobe. So I think she wanted one to match that. She doesn't want white. And the only ones they had in stock really were white ones or black and she didn't want those. So we didn't get her a desk, but we did get her some other bits for her bedroom. So the plan tomorrow is to build her new wardrobes, move everything down from the playroom, move her wardrobes up there, her bed. I'm not sure how much we're going to get done, but the moving tomorrow is definitely happening. I hate how whenever I smile, my cold sore splits and it hurts so bad, literally so bad. I'm hoping tomorrow it starts to look a bit better it doesn't feel that bad it just hurts when it oh my gosh this camera so annoying there we go right i'm gonna end the vlog really quickly guys before the camera goes blurry again but thank you all so so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m good night guys Mwah.